Before I start this video, I just want to do a shout out to Casper and Alexander and their book of the sump. This fan-made supplement has been so inspirational for myself and my Necromunda gaming group. Dale and myself probably also wouldn't have this YouTube channel without that inspiration. Now for some history. So I had an idea when the Book of Peril came out to make a sump board. I had the idea of large concrete slabs with sump water channels between them, and then build up with various ruins and Necromunda-esque terrain. Over the years, I built some terrain, and Dale saw it and decided to go all in. Around this time, the first edition of the Book of the Sump came out, and it really turbo-boosted his building. The Sump and Zomortalis boards you see in our videos are all made by Dale. We started a Sump Pirates campaign in March 2022, and so I came up with the idea of making a pirate outcast gang with real pirate names and the leader based on Steve Bennett, the gentleman pirate. The show Our Flag Means Death is a comical look at this historical figure, which is where I got a lot of inspiration as well. If you know the story of Steve Bennett, then you know he was a wealthy noble and he decided he wanted to buy a ship and become a pirate. So I realized that my captain would also need a ship, so I started looking around at Goodwill stores and I found this. This image I got from thisoldtoy.com, it's an old 1994 Fisher-Price pirate ship toy. It was in really bad condition. I brought it home and I started tearing pieces off of it and gluing new pieces on it. At the end of March 2022, we played a large game and brought my newly converted but not yet painted sump pirate ship. Here are some more pictures from that game. After the game, Dale sprayed my ship black and silver and white and gave it a decent undercoat. I brought it home and it sat in the basement until recently. A previous video was the beginning of the painting process. This video is the end of the process. By the end of the video, the ship will be complete. And now, on to the painting. So I'm taking the texture paint that I made in the previous video and I'm turning it brown. I'm then diluting it with water and a bit of dish soap. This will turn it into more of a wash because I wanted kind of a gritty wash. And here we go. And I start painting it over the gray bits of the boat. And I find out soon this isn't quite going to be the look that I want. But I painted over a whole bunch of the boat before I figured that out. using this wash and I'm noticing it's not doing a whole lot. It's adding a little bit of color and just a tiny bit of texture, but not very much. So now I take the other part of the mixture, the more texture paint part, which is more brown, and I start going over parts of the model with that, trying to make it look like a buildup of grime over different parts of the model. Again, as I'm doing this, I'm looking at it, I'm trying to place grime strategically and I realize it just doesn't look uniform enough and it needs to be a little bit more uniform. So once I finish this step, I go on and I paint a more solid brown color. the cabin brown, the floorboards, and the back walls. And 
And then uh, while that's drying, I move on to the rest of the ship. I'll come back later to do a wash. I then take a more solid brown and uh, I decide to just go over these kind of grayish parts with the brown and go over that brown texture paint again with this brown color just to make things look a little bit more uniform. this look a lot more than the kind of grayish uh, look that it was before. Then I move on to blue. And I decide blue is going to be my other accent color around the windows on either side of the cabin. side and paint the blue around the edges. I go back over this later to make it more solid because it is uh, thicker in some areas than others. I now take this light blue and dry brush the dragon at the front of the ship. The model's so big that there's a lot of nooks and crannies that get missed that as I worked as I worked on this ship I kept going back and fixing parts. Now at this point I'd wanted to use just washes that I had made, but I realized that using some Agrax Earthshade would actually be uh, the best bet right here. Um, I don't have all the tools necessary to make the wash that I want, and since I had some Agrax, I decided to just use it here. I go back to the cabin, I paint the bed green, and then I go and I do an Agrax wash. That's about all the work that I do on the cabin. I want it to remain fairly open to fit a lot of miniatures and or other uh, terrain pieces inside of it. 
All right, then I go back and now I'm doing the detail work. I'm painting the view screens, the little buttons on the controls here for the crane up in the tower. Use mainly blue and green, but I also add a little bit of red. I then go back to um, this little radio bit and I start doing some blue and some green on there. And I do some red dots down here. I then take some more Agrax or shade and just do another wash of some of these pieces. I always feel like Agrax or shade, it gives a really nice look once it's dry. It's almost anything that you could put it on. I do it over the, uh, the wheel too and I think the wheel looks much cooler much better afterwards. I then decided to paint some of some of these uh, bits on the back of the of the boat here, the barrel and the uh, the chest. Put some silver on those straps. Then on the lock. There we go, uh, and it's all done. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back again soon with another painting video. Next up, I think I'll paint the House Grime Outcast Delegation Gang. Thanks for watching. And now for some action shots.